Essentially, I've done a video similar to this, comparing the different purities of gold side by side on actual jewelry. But it's a constant question that I get on what's the difference visually, not so much cost wise, because obviously there's a cost difference between gold purities, but visually. And lately I've been getting questions about 14 versus 18 carats. Seems like, you know, people are stepping up their game in the jewelry space and they're saving a little bit of bread, which is a beautiful thing. But they're just not so much concerned about the gold purity aspect since 14K is overly popular in the US, but so much the visual aspect. There's a lot of discrepancies between people feeling that 18 is a little bit too orangey slash yellowy and may potentially come off as fake looking based on our Western customs. Because essentially at the end of the day, it's all really budget related. Right? Lately, I haven't had so many questions regarding the resale value or anything along the lines. It's more so visual. So I'm just gonna show you some quick shots and do some comparisons between 14 to 18 carat. Not only that, 14 pre-owned with wear and very, very light cleaning. 18 pre-owned, very, very light cleaning. And 18 newer or newest with some polish on it so you guys can visually see the differences and see if you can spot them or if it even means anything to you. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can get right into the demonstration because this isn't gonna be a long video. It's more just for you guys to see. I'm kind of a big deal. Beautiful peoples, you know who it is. This is your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. It's a bit confusing. Not everybody has the accessibility to go to a jewelry store or a jewelry store that carries 18K readily. At the end of the day, major department stores generally focus on 10 and 14 carat. Obviously, 14 carat being the one that's most popular in the US, but having that 10 carat option that has a very close visual comparison but can save you a substantial amount of money is, is very attractive to the economy nowadays. 18K plus is really either culturally what you're used to, financially what you're comfortable in spending because you got that kind of bread. And for those who are very in tune with the color discrepancies, maybe that color tone is more to your liking or again, from Eastern side of the world where 18, 22, 24 purities are super common, but there's also some parts of Europe that 9K is super common. So I'm gonna show you up close shots of 14K and 18K individually side by side to see if it provides you with these studio lights, any sort of visual differences for you to make the proper choice based on your budget and look. So I'm gonna show you a quick run through right here and then we'll move up to some close up shots so you can get the true interpretation as best HD quality as I possibly can. So here is my 13 millimeter bracelet. This is 18 karat, dirty, no polish, used and abused, but you can see that color tone and I'll back it up a little bit just so you can get more light refraction on it so you guys can see the actual 18 karat tone minus polish at this point because it's beat to shit and really see how that color looks. I know it's slightly difficult from this aspect, that's why I will give you close-up shots. From there, we'll go to a 14 karat 11 millimeter. And then the new 18 karat 7.34 millimeter. So I put it towards a black felt background to assist with the color contrast. So as you can see here, I have it zoomed in as close as I possibly can. We have the 18 karat new, so it still has that fresh polish on it. We have the 18 karat with no longer having that polish on it, used and abused. And then we have 14 karat that's been used and abused as well. There is more of a discrepancy on that new freshly dipped polish 18 karat as opposed to the worn 18 karat. It has kind of like this yellowish, orangey, with whitish tones, but the whitish tones are really coming from the studio lights and is actually falling more similar to the 14 carat. So if I bring them up a little bit closer, so with the back black drop, here's the 18 carat option. Again, used, abused, beat to shit, under studio lighting, but you can kind of get the idea of what a used, unpolished, scratches, scuffs, you can definitely see how beat up 18K can get. There is no polish on here. This is real world usage of 18 karat. So when you look at this 18 karat versus, obviously you see 
that there is a discrepancy in that color due to that fresh dip and that nice polish. You can see that the links are a lot cleaner. There's no crazy scratches or scuffs yet. They will have very soon, but there is a disparity between that fresh dip and that 18 karat. And these are both, so 18 karat plum as the term is called, you can see is right after that dip, you get a balance of true color on how it's coming out. But if you start putting this used 18 karat versus here's that 14 karat used it abused, still maintains a beautiful color. And in putting them side by side with the 18, you can definitely see that there's some differences, but not super, super drastic. Now, to be honest with you, these are all from Daniel Jewelry. Now, based on alloys, there is going to be some sort of color disparities between some. Some may use different alloys that might change these tones. You know, take this as a grain of salt from one particular manufacturer. We're putting them all together just so you can see. New 18K, old 18K, old 14K. So these are the tones that we're particularly working with. To some people, this is worth it to save a couple of bucks and go to 14K if they're not looking for the flip or that particular quote unquote investment value. They're just looking for the look, durability, and what's within their budget. Now, let's see if the color changes when I dim the lights a little bit. Here we go, I'm gonna dim the lights a good amount and try to help bring out the color from a different perspective. Maybe this helps to see the balance of the colors a little bit better. As you can see, this 18 carat that's been beat to shit is definitely lighter than the 18 brand new one, but even the 14K still shows some sort of darker color tone a little bit than the 18K. So this still has a little bit of polish on it, it seems. Because obviously this is on the wrist and this is against the table, against the keyboard, clacking against the wall, and this is on your chest, which without a pendant or anything like that, it's really gonna last a little bit longer. That protection is gonna last a little bit longer, but. So here we go with the lights a little dimmer. We got the 14 karat one. We got the 18 karat used and abused. And we have the 18 karat new. There is discrepancies in the color, but it isn't super duper drastic, especially when it starts to wear down. But hopefully this can help you guys make an educated visual decision based on what color tone you're looking for and obviously your particular budget. Ultimately, it's your responsibility to continue to do research and go to whoever you feel is gonna give you better service, better pricing, get exactly what you're looking for at the price point that you're looking for in the time frame that you're looking for. Don't listen to any content creator. Ultimately, the decision is yours, is your money, and you invest in who you want and what business you want to continue to establish some sort of relationship with. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what is biggest in the game? Smooches. Who the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough rugged and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.